it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm featured as the guest designer on the Butterfly Reflections Inc. blog. Be sure to stop by the BRI blog for inspiration and stop by the BRI store for crafty product. Now I'm in love with making bookmarks. Just the other day, I shared in a video how to create some super easy ones for back to school. You can click the link above to check out that video. Now, I think I've made over a hundred magnetic bookmarks in the past year. <laughs> These are my absolute favorite bookmarks to make, and that's what I'm going to share today. These are super easy, and all we need to do is follow a couple of steps. First, you want to get some papers that you love or some scraps that you want to use up. I'm using several different pattern papers that I got from the BRI store. There are so many pretty paper pads for sale. Once you have your papers, you want to cut them and make them about an inch by two and seven eighth inches. Each bookmark will use two pieces. You can mix and match your papers, like you can put these two together, or you can put two pattern papers of the same design together. Next, we want to laminate our papers. Now to do this, you're going to take your paper pieces and line them up in a laminating pouch. These pouches can be found literally anywhere at um, the craft stores and even at Walmart and Office Depot and Staples. So I place one inside and I line it up on the edge and then I take another one, I think I'll match it up with this one, and I leave about a quarter of an inch in between and then I line up these edges. They don't have to be perfect but I just like to make sure that there's um, an edge of laminating um, around it and there's an about a quarter of an inch in between. Once your pouch is filled and everything looks good and straight, take your laminating pouch and place it in your laminating machine. Now sometimes these back pieces will move, but that's okay. Just lay it back down, line it back up, and then carefully move it over to your laminating machine. Next, we're going to cut our bookmarks, leaving some laminating around the edges of our paper, and then run them back through the laminating machine to make sure everything is sealed and laminated. So to finish these bookmarks, just take some magnets that are cut to half an inch by two inches and glue them to the inside of the laminated bookmarks using glossy accents. Now these magnets already have adhesive on them, but I like to add glossy accents for a secure hold. I also want to point out that this space that we left earlier in between, it's about a quarter of an inch, is really important because it will allow for some room for the magnet and it allows us to bend over our a bookmark easily and trust me I've done this a hundred times <laughs> I learned the hard way oh I also want to point out that I place both of my magnets together that way it's easier for me to place it on my bookmark and then pull my other side down trust me again I learned the hard way <laughs> so just peel off your adhesive if you have any apply some glossy accents. You don't really need a lot. And I just love these mini bottles. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I got them from the Butterfly Reflections Ink Store. Actually, I'm running out and I probably should make another order. <laughs> Gotta have some backups. I love them, they're so cute. So apply your glossy accents and then push it onto your bookmark. Let it sit for a second and then Remove your other adhesive. Apply a little bit of glossy accents. And now you can bend over your bookmark and press it and hold it for a little bit. and then set it to the side to dry. And I like to place my bookmarks under a heavy book so I don't mess with them while it's drying. <laughs> I love to check to make sure it opens and closes and I like looking at the paper. <laughs> so place these aside and let it dry. And that's it, it's super easy. These are perfect gifts for students or friends. I've got one in every book that I'm reading, no joke, including my devotions and journals. 
And I think I've even given Travis five to use. <laughs> you can never have enough. <laughs> so all you do is open it up, place it where you're at in your um, book. I like to put it up a little bit further than my book. And then I close it up and there it is. Super, super fun. Now I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will try making your own laminated bookmarks. Be sure to check out the new products on the Butterfly Reflections Inc. website. And be sure to stop by the BRI blog at butterflyreflectionsinc.blogspot.com for more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>